So you want to start using automation in Cubase? I got you. So automation is when you tell Cubase to change parameters over time. Go to your track and click this little arrow. It'll immediately show you the automation track for volume, but you can add any parameter you want to automate. Either choose a different one here, or create a new automation track and then choose. There are basically two kinds of automation in Cubase. One where you turn something on or off, like bypassing a plugin or controlling the mute button. And one where you can set a specific value for every event point, like volume or frequency in an EQ. You can click in event points, use the draw tool, the line tool, or just click this W from right, hit play and adjust the parameter. Once your event points are there, you can drag them around and you can use all of these different handles. To freeze the vertical position, hold Ctrl or Command. You can also adjust the curve in between two points using another handle. If you select part of the automation, you can also move it around like this, or copy it when you're holding Alt or Option. Make sure you click first and then hold your key, because otherwise it switches to the pen tool. If you move your events around, the automation by default follows. If you don't want that to happen, go to Edit and Disable Automation Follows Events. And then one last heads up, if you click the minus button over here, that doesn't remove the automation. It just hides the track. You can right click the track to show all of your automation using this option. To delete the automation, you can delete all the points by selecting them and hitting delete on your keyboard, or you can click this menu and remove this automation track. All automation tracks are just the ones you're not using. And you can also mute an automation track with this button. So I hope this helped. If it did, please like the video and also subscribe and have fun making music.